Um, <laughs> anyway, um, the reason uh, I was asked to do this movie was because I, I was involved with Walk the Line. So Julian Raymond, who was the producer of Glenn Campbell's last two albums, Meet Glenn Campbell and Ghost on Canvas, was working with my son Johnny and um, would come over to our studio and where the band also that Johnny was playing with was rehearsing and he would say, we we'd really like you to meet Glenn Campbell. Um, he's going to go out and do a final tour and we'd like you to film him. And my partner Trevor Albert and I thought, well, that's that's interesting, uh, but we've already made a biopic recently and, and this is not necessarily something we wanted to do. He says, no, no, this isn't going to be a biopic. This is a, Glenn's going to do a final tour and he's going to announce that he's got Alzheimer's. And uh, so I guess the the feeling that I understood something about music and um, uh, country music and guys from Arkansas and all of that <laughs> played a part in it. But uh, this movie, both movies actually, were a I was asked to do them as, mm. as opposed to me pursuing them. Because I, I am very grateful to you and to Kim and to Mr. Campbell for bringing a face to Alzheimer's and to making someone like me be able to recognize what the symptoms may be because you don't necessarily know. You just think, you know, it's like Kim says in the documentary, oh, crazy old Uncle Joe, he's, he's, he's losing time or whatever people say about that. So I wanted to share that with you and tell you thank you. Um, I also wanted to know what has happened since the film, since you guys stopped shooting, the tours stopped, what's happened with Glenn between then and now? About in March, he was put into a memory care facility. Um, the doctors, doctor, all his doctors said that to Kim, and it, it was really tough for her to do this in the family because, well, she adored him. You can see that in the of movie. Course. But it, he, it was getting unsafe for him in the house, and it was 24/7 care for him. But you know, now that he's where he is, um, she goes to see him every day. Still, they will say God bless you and I love you and and uh, he picked up the guitar and played it a little bit and 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 he starts laughing and and he just he just loves to laugh and that's the other thing about the movie it's really funny I hope your mom does get to see it because we, we had something happen the other day we screened the movie at the Mayo Clinic and and um, this woman came over and said I want to thank you you changed my life I said by you know changing well, by making the movie She has dementia, she's an older woman, and she was there with a daughter. And we've had so many people say that we put Glenn, put a face on this thing. But the movie's not, your mom probably thought it was gonna be something really hard to watch and, and sad and, and, and um, it's not. As Glenn says, whatever's happening to me, I'm gonna live the moment. I'm gonna live in the moment and enjoy every day. And I ain't done yet, so if I, if I forget where my car keys are, that's okay. <laughs> You know, that's not what life's about. It's about the love you give and the love you can get and, and enjoying every day. And, I, and you know, I, 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 a lot of people whose families have been involved, have seen the film, have felt comforted by it. And people who don't know about it feel educated by it, but they also, it's a music. I mean, Glenn's a musical genius, so, it, and he's funny. He's so funny. So the film is not a sad, sad sex kind of story. It's very funny. It shows you a side of Glenn Campbell and shows you a side of a family and a person dealing with that type of situation that's very joyous, like when they're on the tour bus and there's those moments with him and Ashley where they're singing and, and playing the, the banjo and the guitar together and when they're paying, um, doing the, um, the, I forget the name dueling of that song, banjo. dueling banjos on stage, when they're doing the dueling banjos on stage, the joy. And I, I, I love that whatever was happening outside of the stage, whenever they would say, ladies and gentlemen, Glenn Campbell, his face would light up like a Christmas tree. And it was like that other stuff wasn't happening. And he came on stage and he did his thing. Music was the last part of his brain to kind of check out because that was the, the strongest part of his brain that he held on to with, with the writing and the playing and the singing and everything. Have you guys heard anything else about how music may affect patients with um, memory loss? You know how we listen to a song, it can take you back to a time, a place, 
you know, love, you know, that's, that's what music does, and, and music is uh, the fruit of love, and, you know, it's, it's, um, it's spirit, as John Cash's son says in the film, and it's really important that, uh, well, for one thing, I think it's really important that we don't cut music in the, in the, in the school programs, which is nuts, you know, it's yeah. really nuts. that by taking uh, iPods and people that have uh, memory impairment and then giving them iPods, they, they totally relax, calms them down, makes them feel good. It's just, it's uplifting. So I, I it's the last thing that uh, Glenn will lose and that's his musical ability, but it's also, it also brings in a lot of joy to listen to as well. Life-changing. Faith affirming, joyous, genius. He's a fighter. And would you say all of those things definitively define Glenn Campbell? I would say all those things definitely define Glenn Campbell. And I would also say caregiving. That would define his family and loving. They behave the way people. Have you seen a rise in the um, attention that has gone to the uh, I, I know that there was a race that happened um, a few days ago for Alzheimer's, to raise money for the Alzheimer's organization. Have you seen a rise in the um, attention that has gone to that organization as a result of this film? Yes, to a lot of organizations, to Volunteers of America and uh, Mayo Clinic and uh, Leading Aid and the local Alzheimer's Association here, Peking Business Group. We've started a foundation, the All We Need Alzheimer's Foundation. And where can people donate to that? Go to www.allwenealzheimersfoundation.org. Okay, I was like, is it dot com or dot org? Because you kind of say. All right. Well, I think that about does it for us. I want to thank you so very much for taking the time to talk to me. I was so excited to talk to you after seeing both of the films, Walk the Line and seeing the documentary um, I'll be me I was very 